here in this question we are having a cube and uh, so in this region of the cube we are having three charges inside minus cube uh, minus q another and uh, plus 3q so their coordinates are given in the question itself and uh, the length of uh, each side of the cube is a okay so now we have to choose the incorrect option so let me read option a first the net electric flux crossing the plane this x is equals plus a by 2 is equal to the net electric flux crossing the plane minus a by 2 here you know uh, uh, according to the gauss law what we can write is so gauss law the total electric flux through the cube okay so through the cube is q divided by epsilon o so q stands for the net charge so here we are having 3q right so it is 3q and uh, minus 2q so this is equal to plus q so this becomes only plus q divided by epsilon o all diverging flux so divergent flux will be present uh, from e surface okay so due to symmetry the flux through the surface is uh, equal to uh, plus q divided by 6 epsilon o this will be the electric flux through the surface so be careful about these two factors so this much is uh, the flux through the whole cube and this much is uh, the flux through uh, each surface this is q okay so don't make confusion with uh, the letter a and q so this is q q divided by epsilon o and q divided by 6 epsilon o so now if you think uh, any of the surface so this much will be the flux okay so if i am able to draw a, a small uh, surface like this you know this one so this much surface uh, is uh, on uh, any side of the cube okay if you think so so now i simply make it part exactly equal that means taking like this you know this so this side and this side okay so that is here those two things are here okay so be careful uh, the total flux through this uh, surface that means this surface is q divided by epsilon o and the flux through this uh, surface this part of the surface only this much right so that will be plus q divided by 12 epsilon o as well as the flux through this part uh, this portion of the surface is also plus q divided by 12 epsilon o this will be the flux uh, through each portion so this one and total surface uh, flux should be q divided by 6 epsilon o uh, this is true for uh, each surface of the cube and now uh, from the given uh, details in option a you know the net electric flux crossing the plane x is equals plus a by 2 is equal to net electric flux crossing the plane x is equals minus a by 2 that means uh, one side it is a uh, plus a by 2 and another side is a uh, minus a by 2 if you take uh, the symmetry uh, across uh, this x axis then uh, the net electric flux on uh, each side should be same this is what they said equal right so that means option a is right so now in the same way he is talking about you know the symmetry across uh, y axis the net electric uh, flux uh, crossing the plane y is equals plus a by 2 more than the net electric flux crossing the plane y is equals minus a by 2 this is wrong because what i said already you know so one side i take plus a by 2 and another side it is minus a by 2 so both sides the flux should be same so no one is more and no one is less those two flux must be equal and uh, in option c the net electric flux crossing the entire region that is cube is q divided by epsilon o this is what we already said the flux through entire cube is q divided by epsilon o that means this is right and option d says the net electric flux crossing the plane z is equals plus a by 2 is equal to net electric flux crossing the plane x is equals plus a by 2 so you can take any of the plane 
corresponding to x axis or z axis or y axis uh, in every plane you know if you make half okay so if you take this uh, this uh, the bottom uh, plane and uh, take it half on one side and another side uh, again the same thing the same theory that holds here also that means uh, uh, the flux through any such a small region uh, corresponding to plus a by 2 or minus a by 2 on a, any side of the cube must remain same. So that means this option is also right. So from all these details only option B is absurd wrong.